Hello everyone and Happy New Year. I hope you guys have had a fantastic holidays and a great start to your new year. Now I like to start off my new year every year by looking back on the past projects that you've done. I love to see the work that you created that was inspired by this show. So today I'm going to highlight you. You guys send me pictures and some videos and I just love what you've done. So I'm so excited to show you all of your work from the past year to get this new year started off right. And I'm looking forward to many, many years of exciting new projects. So let's check out what you've done from last year. One of my very first DIY videos was for these decorative glass candle holders. Even though I did this video over four years ago, I'm happy to see that you guys are still using this technique to make beautiful pieces for your home. Just look at the two different color versions that Deirdre made to brighten up a couple of rooms in our home. And Florence made some very unique candle holders using stained glass paint and diamond wrap. Another one of my more popular projects is the coffee filter flowers. And you guys have done a fantastic job with these. Sharon made herself some lovely peachy hydrangeas. And Treasures Rediscovered was more than happy to blog about her beautiful pieces. Sonia proudly showcased her creations at a town fair. And just take a look at these incredibly beautiful paper flowers that Nadi made. She made a bunch of bouquets for Mother's Day and I bet her family and friends were just thrilled. A couple of years ago, I created this great fire pit and patio combination in my backyard. And this outdoor feature only cost me $300 to make. And I'm so happy to see that you guys are using the same idea to help expand your outdoor living space. Take a peek at what K.I. Lani is building. This is really going to add a lot of entertainment, warmth, and value to their backyard. Another great outdoor project I did a few years ago were these mosaic bird baths. These were made from colored plates and glass stones. But oh my, Lisa took this to a whole new level. Look at how incredibly beautiful this is with all the floral details, beautiful colored glass pieces, and every piece is perfectly positioned to make a beautiful work of art. Well done, Lisa. Another quick, fun, and inexpensive project were these terrariums I made from Dollar Tree picture frames, succulents, and tap lights. Cece made this beautiful terrarium. She even added a little bling in the inside of hers. Another popular project was this wedding bling card box. And you guys have made a lot of these over the years. But take a look at this beautiful one that Anne made with the floral shaped diamonds. Along with my centerpieces, I've also made lots of floral arrangements. And you guys have kept up with me every step of the way making your own unique pieces. A year ago, Angela made this mercury glass vase, then put together this beautiful floral arrangement to go in it. She says she saw one like this at a high-end store for $129, but she made her piece for just $18. Kenyatta put together a huge ball of roses using Dollar Tree flowers and a couple of small foam pieces. Now hands down, one of the most talked about pieces I made was this featherless silver feathered wall art. I made this piece using copy paper rather than actual feathers. And look at the great job Sherry did creating this as a round version with a mirror base. And look at how beautiful these feathers look in gold. Sheila did a fantastic job at this. 
Another cool decor project were these tap light -like wall sconces. CC also decided to make these and did a fantastic job. One of my first big Christmas hits this past year was the stained glass door wreath. And you guys did a great job coming up with your own unique versions for this piece. Sherry also did this project, but she used bright red Christmas berries and silver ornaments. Look how lovely, festive, and colorful this is. And speaking of colorful, look at Wendy's red and green wreath all lit up. And finally, the most popular project of last year and of all times were these giant outdoor ornaments. You guys came up with some really beautiful pieces for this project. Lee made quite a few extraordinarily beautiful crystal ornaments. So this Cheryl Ann, just perfect. And look at these very elegant, colorful, and unique pieces that Rosemary made. I just love them. And Rosie decided to use this project to really light up her Christmas this year. And once again, Cece has done a beautiful job of creating another project. This time the crystal topiary with dazzling blue lights. And last but not least, how creative is this? Terrell made this crystal lit snowman, complete with a Christmas top hat and a carrot nose. I can't think of a more perfect way to show how creative you guys are. How fantastic was that? You guys keep sending me your work. I just love seeing what you've done. It really inspires me. For every little personal touch you make, will help to make your house a beautiful home. So I'm looking forward to working with you this upcoming year and I have some great things planned. So let's get started. Check out my new Etsy store where I just added new products and everything is drastically reduced. I also added new project guide booklets with full color step-by-step -step instructions for some of your favorite projects, including the Bohemian Crystal Table Lamp. All digital downloads, just $3. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my Your House a Home metallic multi-surface acrylic paint with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And from Amazon, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. Put all your favorite projects together in one big, beautiful, colored, step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.